Hello everybody and welcome back to Cobbler's Vlogs where we've got a bit of a different video for you today, a bit of IMO, a bit of in my opinion. We're going to be looking at my Premier League team of the decade. Uh, I'm not really sure um, of my exact team yet. I'm literally going to go on the website and look at the options now. I've got a vague idea of who I want in my team, but what we're waiting for, let's get into my Premier League team of the decade. So we're going to be using the BBC Sport website to do this one, uh, their little team of the decade like maker thing is on there so you go and check that out and you can make your own uh, team of the decade and let me know who is in it uh, so in terms of the decade we're obviously talking the last 10 years from 20 10 obviously to this year 2019 uh, going into 2020. First of all we're going to look at the goalkeepers so our options here are Petr Cech, Thibaut Courtois, David De Gea, Edison, Joe Hart, Hugo Lloris and Kasper Schmeichel. If we're thinking about the whole decade, Petr Cech was sort of the start of the decade, retired in about 2016, didn't he? Uh, Thibaut Courtois was at Chelsea for four or five years, you know, very good goalkeeper. Uh, Edison has obviously only just joined Man City sort of three, four years ago, so probably wouldn't uh, classify him in there yet. Uh, Joe Hart, obviously a fantastic servant to the Premier League. Uh, was fantastic in his prime. Again, probably wouldn't want to consider him. Uh, Hugo Lloris um, obviously hasn't really helped himself in uh, the sort of recent year or so. Um, so not sure he's going to be valid for it. And Kasper Schmeichel obviously is in there for that fantastic achievement of obviously winning the Premier League with Leicester. But for me, there's only one option to put in goal, uh, and that is David De Gea of Manchester United. An easy pick, really, uh, for that one. If we go to the defenders, so there's quite a lot of defenders. We're going to go sort of um, right back, two centre-backs and a left back, rather than just four of the best defenders. Um, so the options are Trent Alexander-Arnold, Marcus Alonso, Cesar Aspilicueta, Leighton Baines, Gael Clichy, Patrice Evra, Rio Ferdinand, Branislav Ivanovic, uh, Alexander Kolarov, Vincent Kompany, David Luiz, James Milner, Wes Morgan, Andrew Robertson, John Terry, Virgil van Dijk, Jan Vertonghen, Nemanja Vidic, uh, Kyle Walker and Pablo Zabaleta. So there's a lot of options in there. Um, I'm going to go for right back first. Obviously Trent Alexander-Arnold's only just broke, really broken onto the scene, so wouldn't put him in there for sort of the decade yet. Uh, you've got the likes of Branislav Ivanovic, fantastic Chelsea right back. Uh, James Milner. He's played right back, left back, he's played everywhere, so he could probably go anywhere in that team. Um, but for me, the right back of the decade is going to be Pablo Zabaleta, uh, formerly of Manchester City and West Ham United. In terms of the centre-backs on that list, you've got the likes of Ab um, Aspen Equator, Rio Ferdinand, Virgil van Dijk, Vincent Kompany, um, David Luiz, Wes Morgan, obviously won the league with Leicester, John Terry, one of the best defenders of all time in the Premier League. Um, but Vincent Kompany is going to be my first centre-back in there. Uh, along with him, I don't think there's any doubt about it, he's been here since about 2014-15 when he was at Southampton. He's obviously doing bits at Liverpool at the minute, and that's going to have to be Virgil van Dijk as my other centre-back. At left back, a lot of good options here. Leighton Baines, Gail Clichy, Patrice Evra. Uh, you've got the likes of James Milner, who's also played left back. Andy Robertson, who broke onto the scene recently as well. Um, but for me, there's only one left back uh, that we can put in there. And that is uh, Everton's Leighton Baines. Bit of a controversial one, that one, but in his prime, a very good left back, uh, a very good servant for Everton Football Club as well. So Leighton Baines is going to go in there. So my defence, we've got uh, David De Gea in goal. My right back is Pablo Zabaleta. Centre backs are Company and Van Dijk, and then Leighton Baines is my left back. That's a very good defence, if you ask me. Okay, so on to midfielders where we are absolutely spoilt for Joyce. Just some of the names that are on this list are unbelievable. Bale, Carrick, Coutinho, Silva, De Bruyne, Eriksen, Fabregas, Fernandinho, Giggs, uh, Gerrard, Hazard, Kante, Lampard, Mares, Mane, Milner, Ozil, uh, Pogba, Ramsey, Salah, Sanchez, Sterling and Yaya Torre. So some phenomenal choices in there. Uh, we're going to go for three midfielders, a defensive midfielder, a centre midfielder and then an attacking midfielder. Um, my uh, defensive midfielder is going to be, well, he's the best in the world at what he does, in my opinion. And it's going to have to be N'Golo Kante, what he's achieved with Leicester. And then he's obviously been fantastic for Chelsea as well over the last few years. My centre midfielder, um, there were three options for this one. It was either going to be Carrick, Lampard or Gerrard. And in the end, I've gone with Steven Gerrard, a true servant to Liverpool Football Club um, and probably one of the best Premier League midfielders of all time and definitely uh, of this decade. So Steven Gerrard is my centre midfielder. My attacking midfielder, spoilt for choice really, likes of Phil Coutinho, David Silva, Kevin De Bruyne, Christian Eriksen. Uh, they could all be in there. 
For me, there's only one man that can be in there. Mesut Ozil is another one as well, but there's only one man that can go in there, and that is David Silva. Um, in terms of the decade, David Silva has obviously been here probably since 2010. Um, so David Silva would definitely make my midfield three of Kante, Steven Gerrard and David Silva. I wouldn't want to mess with that lot if it was uh, me that was playing against them. Now on to the tackers, and the names are absolutely ridiculous in this list. You've got the likes of Aguero, Bale, Costa, Drogba, Firmino, Hazard, Kane, Lukaku, Mane, Rooney, Salah, Sanchez, Sterling, Suarez, uh, Tevez, Van Persie and Vardy. All fantastic uh, forwards. Uh, I'm going to go with my left forward first, and that is going to be Eden Hazard, uh, who I think is probably the best winger in the world at the minute. Obviously not doing great from what I've heard around Madrid, but when he was at Chelsea, he was definitely the best player in the Premier League. Uh, so Eden Hazard has to be my left-sided uh, attacker. On the right, it's a tough one. Uh, the shouts for Sterling that a lot of people would probably put in there. Mane could go in there, Salah could go in there. But for me, it's going to have to be uh, Gareth Bale as my right attacking midfielder. Sorry, my right winger. Uh, and then the striker, I can't even, you know, there's, no, there's absolutely no debate. Um, it has to be Sergio Aguero, probably one of the best strikers, if not the best striker the Premier League has ever seen. And Sergio Aguero has to be in there um, up front. And that is one hell of a front three. Sergio Aguero, Gareth Bale and Edin Hazard. Okay, so now we're going to take a quick look at a bench, uh, those who've just missed out. So we're going to go with a goalkeeper, a fullback, a centre-back, a centre midfield, a winger uh, and a striker. Maybe we'll have two midfielders in there. Um, but my goalkeeper, without a doubt, on the bench is going to be Petr Cech. Um, my fullback on the bench is going to be Patrice Evra. Uh, again, very unlucky to miss out in my team, I, th I would say. Um, my other centre-back on the bench is going to be John Terry. In midfield, uh, I'm going to have two midfielders. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne has to be on the bench. Uh, it was very unlucky to miss out to uh, David Silva in my team. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne and Frank Lampard are going to be my two midfielders on the bench. My winger on the bench, um, it's going to have to be Mohamed Salah. Uh, I don't think there's anybody much better at what he's done uh, for Liverpool in the last few years. So Mohamed Salah is going to make the bench as my winger. Uh, and my striker on the bench, there's no other option but Wayne Rooney. Um, second probably best striker behind uh, Sergio Aguero of the decade. So there it is then, my Premier League team of the decade in full. I've got David De Gea in goal. My right back is Pablo Zabaleta. My two centre backs are Virgil van Dijk and Vincent Kompany. My left back is Leighton Baines. Uh, my centre midfielders are N'Golo Kante, uh, Steven Gerrard and David Silva. And then my front three of Edin Hazard, Sergio Aguero and Gareth Bale. That is a force to be reckoned with, even if I do say so myself. So that is my team of the decade. Let me know your team of the decade. You know, tag me on Twitter, send me it, whatever. Leave it in the comments. Um, leave in the comments any of your thoughts on my team. I know there's going to be some controversy in that one. But yeah, drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye.